guys, welcome back to my channel. So, guess what? Today is my one year channel anniversary. I can't believe it. It feels like, I don't know, on one hand it feels like it's been two years, the other, on the other hand it feels like it's been a couple months. Honestly, I can't believe it's been a year since I started this channel, but anyways, enough with the sappy reminiscing. So today, I am going to be doing a little bit of a QA. and a um, I've got some questions here to answer, so I'll be doing those. And I'll also talk a little bit about what I plan to do to grow my channel, and basically just want to thank you guys, all of you, for your support in watching and just engaging with my videos. It's just honestly so encouraging to see like comments and stuff. So anyways, yeah, let's get started with the questions first. Well, how many siblings do you have? Okay, I have three siblings. I'm sorry to say, no, just kidding, just kidding. I have three siblings. They're all younger than me also. So yeah, I'm the oldest child here. Um, <laughs> next question. Do you play any instruments? So, here's the thing. I've never been such of like a instrument person. I mean, okay, my parents make me kind of like learn the piano because they feel like I should learn an instrument, so I'm learning the piano. And I can play it decently, okay? I just don't really like it, so to speak. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I like listening to music and stuff, but when it comes to, like, playing music and things, I don't know, it's just not really my thing. See, the thing with me and music is that I'd much rather dance to it than play it. So, yeah. That's me and music there, and honestly, I would stop learning piano if I could, but my dad says that I should learn piano because when I grow up, I can, like, play songs and stuff when I have a family, I mean, like, okay. Anyways, let's save that topic for another time. <laughs> Move on to the next question. What is your favorite school subject? Okay, so my favorite school subject by far is English, like literature, language arts. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I've just always been like good with words. I guess that's why I like reading so much. I and mean, I guess because like I read a lot and I currently read a lot. Um, I guess I just have a good like a good sense for um, writing and stuff. So I like writing as well. Not so much that I would like want to write a book, but like I like writing enough well that I can write all my essays and papers pretty easily. And also because I've read so much, <laughs> spelling just kind of comes naturally to me. And okay, when I was doing spelling, because fun fact, I'm homeschooled. Um, probably said that already before, but anyways, yeah, I'm homeschooled. So when I was like learning spelling, I did like four levels and then I could like spell everything so effortlessly. I'm not even kidding you. So my mom was like, you know what? You can skip like the last, what was there, three or two levels of spelling left. So. She gave me this like mini test and then of course like I basically aced it so she was like yeah you're fine with spelling so yeah I've never really had a problem with spelling a word in my life. <laughs> so um all that to say is that language arts is my favorite school subject. Anyways yeah math just I don't know I mean like I can do it but I mean I just don't like it. Anyways yeah. Things like history and science, I like, okay, science has too much math in it. But I mean, I like the parts of science that don't have math. Anyways, um, yeah, science, history, social studies, they're all, eh, I'm okay at them. But I mean, language arts is a thing that I am good at, like, really good at. Anyways, okay, enough about language arts. Next question is, do you have any pets? So, if you want to get technical about it, I have a lot of pets. The thing is, my dad's hobby is actually fish tanks, and he has like three major saltwater fish tanks that have like hundreds of fish in them. So if you want to be technical, I have hundreds of pets. Um, but I don't know. The fish tanks have never been really my thing. So, but we also have a dog, um, and her name is Shona. She's a Cairn Terrier, and she's turning three. She turned three already. Yeah, a few days ago, she turned three. Yeah, I wanted a dog for the longest time, but my mom always said no because she did not want to vacuum up all the hair that the dog would shed. 
but eventually by my magical powers of persuasion no just kidding anyways we got a dog eventually <laughs> um so yeah and i probably pay more attention to the dog than i do to the fish which i mean is kind of weird because like whenever my friends come over they're always like oh the fish on oh, the fish and i'm like yeah the fish so <laughs> yeah that's the pet question moving on to the next so What's the one thing you have learned from having a YouTube channel? Oh my goodness, I probably have <laughs> learned a lot of things. I think probably to say like the biggest thing I've learned is like time management. I think I've learned how to like set aside time for like recording videos and then I'll set aside time for like when I review books on videos to like type up the review because I also post my reviews on a platform called Goodreads which you can follow me down below on um and so yeah I type those up and I post them on Goodreads and stuff so that's technically also part of my work although I guess it's not really part of my YouTube channel but anyways yeah I, I, I have to set aside time throughout my week for that um writing the reviews posting them recording the video and editing and of course giving it time to upload and process though oftentimes I don't put enough time in the schedule for that and it ends up going up late on Sunday nights time management <laughs> definitely although I'm probably still working on that as you guys know like I used to upload a couple days late I guess that's when my channel was like pretty small and I was kind of like eh whatever <laughs> and uploaded them late but I'm doing my best to stay on top of the ball guys so you know I always tell myself that I should get more on like having content recorded ahead of time but I mean well, I can never like produce more than one video in a week, okay? So one time I'll try to produce more than one video so I can have content ready for weeks, but I don't know. Besides time management, I guess I've also kind of learned like what kind of works with people. Like for example, looking at my YouTube studio analytics, I can see that some people like certain types of videos than the others. Like I can see um, my, my videos on certain book series get more views than of reviews on another book series. Um, I'm probably not doing this for like the views or the subscribers or the likes and the comments. I just started this mainly because my dad told me to. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I'm going to save that story for later. I'll tell you guys a little bit about the origin of my channel. So yeah, anyways. But yeah, definitely starting a YouTube channel has taught me a lot and I still need to learn more from it. Mostly how to produce more than one video in a week. Anyways, yeah, so that's all the questions I have. So I'm now gonna talk a little bit about my kind of visions for my channel, because I feel like, yes, this is my channel anniversary video celebration thing, but I should kind of expand on my vision for this channel. Now, obviously, I would really love if my channel had like thousands of subscribers eventually, um, we're almost at 50 guys by the way, so, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below now. Anyways, yes, eventually I would love for my channel to be really big and have thousands of subscribers and views, etc. But ultimately, I mean, it doesn't really matter in the end because at the end of the day, I only like, I don't even know who my subscribers are. Okay, well, I know that yes, a lot of my family, like my relatives are subscribed to me as well. But there's a huge percentage of the subscribers who I don't know who they are. They could just be, they could just be, they could just be people who go around subscribing to any channel for what I'm trying to say is that I would love for my channel to be really big, but I think to be honest, as long as I continue produ as long as I continue to put myself forward as like a Christian book reviewer, I don't think my channel will get that big at all. Um, it's just the way it is, no nope. Not everybody wants to like listen to Christian content or Christian reviews. Although I really try not to come across as like preachy or beating you over the head with the Bible in my videos. But yeah, just as long as I continue to put myself forward as a Christian and continue to review books in a Christian way, I'm not gonna get that big at all. So I just have to be realistic and face it. Of course, I would like if I could get really big, but I'm definitely not going to get like millions of subscribers like I see some other book reviewers have and eventually I would like for me to have been able to review all the books that I have read.
but that's also probably not gonna happen for a very long time because I'm constantly getting new books. Okay, I got a lot of books for my birthday. Okay, I got the Hunger Games series. I got the Percy Jackson series. I got um, this series by the series by the author of Fox that I really loved. Um, I forget the name of the series. And I also got the Abyssus Fire series, Roni Kendig, which I haven't read yet. But again, like I said, I've got a lot of books for my birthday. And I also got Tiger Queen by Annie Sullivan, which I haven't read yet either. So yeah, the point is, I'm never gonna be, I'm never gonna be able to have reviewed all the books that I read because I'm just gonna keep getting more. So yeah. One day maybe when I read all the books in the world, then maybe I'll have caught up by then. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's just not realistic. So, so that was kind of my looking into the future kind of thing. I feel like I was kind of rambling there, but yeah. Anyways, now let's do a little switchy review and look back into the past. I want to kind of tell you a little about a little bit about the origin of my channel. Oh, I also plan to do another video sometime this year um, with a new channel intro because when I first started this, of course, I wasn't really serious about it. Um, so I kind of just did a little video with me like explaining what I would be doing in the channel and I used that as my channel intro. And so I think I should definitely come up with something cooler. <laughs> um, at least have my new um, intro like clip thingy and outro clip thingy in it. And anyways, yeah, I should be more clear and concise in that video. So I'll hope to have that go up sometime this year. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, so back to the story of how my channel started. I may have said this before, I may have not, I can't remember. But yeah, so it was, when was it, like November, 20, November 2019, um, and I was literally running out of stuff to read. It wasn't quite Christmas yet. It already passed my birthday, so I had nothing to read. I had already read the stuff in the library. My dad was not letting me read the 14 plus section in the library, obviously. Um, so I was severely limited. <laughs> um, and so I was looking for stuff to read, obviously. Um, and my dad actually had these books in his office, and they were the first few of the Hagenheim series by Melanie Dickerson, which I am now a huge fan of, by the way. Um, and he was like, you can read these books if, and then he's like, if, 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 and I'm like, and he's like, if you start a YouTube channel to review books on, and I was like, nice try dad, I'm not starting a YouTube channel, goodbye. <laughs> so I kind of just left it alone for a while. One, because I was, I don't, now I really warmed up to the camera a bit more, and I can definitely just talk and talk and talk. <laughs> um, like, I'm even now watching like my old videos when I first started, I was so like serious and collected and just like kind of reading off my script kind of thing. But now I can kind of just freestyle it. But yeah, anyway, so I was really shy. I did not want to put myself in front of a camera, much less put that video onto the internet for who knows how many people to see. So I was just like, no thanks. But a while passed and I began to get desperate for stuff to read. Um, so it was like March 2020, because you know, this is my one year channel anniversary. Um, and I was like, you know what? I need to read those books now. And so I just filmed, it probably took me about like half an hour to set up the camera and the tripod and everything. And yeah, I just filmed myself kind of introducing the um, and then I uploaded it <laughs> to my channel. Um, oh, now I should probably also give you the reason, like, why my channel name is the way it is. Um, Pristine's Reads. Now you might think, why not Pristine, like, apostrophe S Reads, like, Pristine's Reads, or Pristine Reads, like, why not that? So, my middle name is actually Zoe, so you take Pristine and then Z, which is the first letter of Zoe, obviously. Christine Z, and then read. So that's why I capitalized the Z. Although probably not you guys, like, publicly viewing would know that. Only, like, my family and my friends would know that. Um, so I have Christine's reads, and it kind of doubled as, like, Christine's reads. So, yeah, I thought it was kind of cool at the time. <laughs> I'd, I've debated on changing it, but I don't know. Can't really think of anything better. 
I, I feel like I like the way it is. It's kind of got a, like a hidden meaning in there. Although it's not really hidden now because I just told you guys. But yeah. Um, so I'm just going to leave the way it is. So yeah, that's kind of the origin story of my channel. And then ever since then, it kind of took off. At first, like, I kind of had to make myself record the videos, and then make myself edit them, and then make myself upload them to YouTube with a little help from my dad. Sometimes I got it rolling eventually. And then eventually I just didn't want to stop. It was fun. I liked recording videos. I liked editing them. I liked uploading them and I liked seeing you guys' responses to the videos. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it. Don't worry, I won't be stopping anytime soon. Unless like something crazy happens to me and I die. But <laughs> yeah, well, we're not going there. Thank you guys for sticking through my kind of rambling session there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Although I'm, I haven't watched it of course right now, but it's probably half of it is me rambling, so I apologize for that if you could not keep up with my rambling, okay? So, yeah, anyways, I've got a couple more things to say first. Number one, drop a suggestion down below for any video ideas you would like to have me do, even if they're, like, not book-related. Yeah, I would love to hear from you guys and see what kind of content you want me to produce. Um, or any suggestions for books for me to review. Um, I've gotten a couple of suggestions. And for those of you who have suggested, don't worry, I will get there eventually. Also, if you had any questions and you would have liked to have me answer them in this video, but you didn't get to, then please leave them down below and I'll do another Q&A video in the future, hopefully. If you want to reach my two year anniversary mark. <laughs> or maybe just for fun. But anyways, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, again, even though a lot of it was me rambling. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, please leave a thumbs up down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week. Remember, next week is my special collaboration with Mo from A Girl's Guide to Goodreads. We're going to be doing an awesome Easter book tag. So stay tuned for that. We're going to collab. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs> Oh,